Before the Jay Swingler vs Nick LMAO fight on Misfits 5, they announced the main event for the next Misfits boxing show, JMX vs Lay Vion Bell. Now both of these guys have had experience in the influencer boxing scene. JMX has been around since KSI vs Logan Paul 1 and fought Coach Richard on the undercard. He came back to YouTube boxing after a long layoff and knocked out Ginty. Lay Vion Bell on the other hand is not a YouTuber, but instead a football player for the NFL. He was featured on the second Social Gloves event and beat the shit out of another NFL player in Adrian Peterson. Most recently, he was on the Jake Paul vs Anderson Silva undercard and took MMA fighter Uriah Hall to a decision. He lost on points, but it was a real close matchup. JMX vs Le'Veon Bell is really the battle of the athletes, and I don't mind this fight to be honest. It might not be a fight that I have a lot of interest in, but I'm sure the undercard surrounding the event will have a couple of banger fights. Keep in mind that this is not a pay-per-view event and you only need a DAZN subscription in order to watch. These non-pay-per-view Misfits cards are more focused on building new or smaller named fighters up, akin to UFC Fight Nights or something. In a couple of years time, you'll see the likes of Salt Papi and Slim headlining their own pay-per-view events, but for right now, the pay-per-view price tag is only really reserved for KSI, which I think is a smart move from Misfits. I do really like the business model, and aside from it being essentially free, there's a few other things that you should be excited for regarding Misfits 06. The next Misfits event is set in New Orleans. That's right, Misfits is going to America again, and they'll be using an American boxing commission. This is great because Misfits fighters will have their bouts on box rec, and we don't have to deal with the PBA and their fucking terrible scorecards. It makes him stop this. Oh! All three judges have scored this fight 30 27 for your winner by unanimous decision. It makes him stop this. Oh! 30, 27 for your winner. 30, 27, 30, 27, 30, 27. As far as I understand it, in America, the sanctioning for pro boxing matches is like the Wild West. There are so many pro boxing commissions in different states, and this means you can get licensed and put on professional bouts pretty easily. In the UK, there's only one proper sanctioning body, the British Boxing Board of Control, which is a lot more strict. I mean, there's no way that they would sanction KSI's two fights in one night, or have influencers fighting with very little training under their belts. So with that in mind, Misfits need to use the PBA when they have the events in the UK. The PBA is the Pro Boxing Association, and it's ironic because they can't officially sanction pro fights, only semi-pro and exhibition matches. While Misfits uses pro boxing rules like 10 ounce gloves and no head guards, they are not pro fights that are properly sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control. In the case of Misfits 06, they can use an official pro boxing sanctioning body because it's set in America, which I'm very happy about. As for the JMX vs Le'Veon Bell fight, this could set up some big matchups in the future. This is why Misfits 06 has the potential to be massive. The winner of JMX and Le'Veon Bell could fight Logan Paul. I mean, Logan has been talking about getting back in the ring for a while now, and even though JMX or Le'Veon aren't household names like Logan Paul, they could still build up to those fights. I've talked about how Logan Paul doesn't really have a great dance partner anymore after KSI and Floyd Mayweather, but him fighting a JMX or someone would be better than nothing. We also have rumours that Deji might be fighting on this card, as well as Ryan Taylor vs Bryce Hall. We'll see what the future brings, but I'm glad that Misfits are expanding their roster and putting actual athletes into the mix as well. I know we don't really have a lot to go off here, but what do you think about the next Misfits main event? Let me know and I'll see you later.